Well, hey everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. I'm back on the ranch today, so I'm getting ready to go work in the Connex. Uh, but I'm at a point in my uh, build where I'll start going back outside. So uh, during this build, I've owned two, maybe three drones. Uh, well, I've had three previous drones, maybe to this one. Um, and I'll tell you, I have been disappointed at every level. First off, just on an aside, so no, uh, a rancher like me, all I want to do is fly over my own property, check my own stock tank. Listen, I don't need an FAA anything. <laughs> I'm not going to go buzzing through the NFL. Uh, and I know the weight of the thing, and the, because society is, is, has lost all boundaries, that you know we throw a net over everybody because why go after the guys that are just the problem, right? Go, you know, go after everybody. Or, you know, GPS should be able to figure out whether or not somebody should open up a drone and fly it through somewhere. I, I should not be required to take some big-ass lesson about airports that I'm never even going to get close to. All I want to do is check my own fence line. Uh, so there was that. And, you know, i got to register them every time. i, I got to get certified every time. Okay, fine. You know, I'll, I'll follow the law. But, um... The other thing is, I had a DJI for a while, and I really liked it. And then one day it stopped working. And, uh, you know, I went through troubleshooting like two weeks before I finally saw online that my particular carrier, AT&T Blackball DJI, for, for whatever reason, I, I don't know if it's because the Chinese were spying, I don't know if it's because AT&T didn't get its money, I don't know if it's because they didn't want to... Nonetheless, as a consumer... <laughs> of a small electronic device that is not my passion. It's a tool that I want to use to check the property. That's that's it. Uh, add a little bit of ambiance to my videos. So uh, uh, anyway, I've owned several of them and I have been discouraged from even messing with it. So I bought this particular one that you're seeing here, the Cinemaster 2. After doing some research, it's US based, it's on the East uh, West Coast. I, I don't know if they build them here or not, but the build quality is super high, and I thought, well, let's see if I, I'll do it one more time and see if my uh, uh, provider, AT&T, will, will play friendly with this particular drone. So, uh, so I've had it for about a year, more than a year sitting in a box. That's how discouraged I am about messing with drones anymore. So, uh, but I am getting to the point... I want to put a foundation underneath, a true foundation underneath my uh, Connexes. They're two foot off the ground, but if you look, they're off the ground on blocks, temporary. The reason why I don't have a permanent foundation is because Home Depot strung me along for six or eight weeks when I was first starting this. So a very long time, even saying, oh, we're loading, I went in. Oh, we're loading your, your delivery in the back. The truck's got it right now. And then uh, I finally looked at the, the notes, and it's a customer leaving the country. Customer, uh, they just didn't want to do the work. And it was easier for the clerks to put in lies than to load um, all of the foundation material that I want delivered out into nowhere. So uh, that's why I don't have a foundation. <laughs> But I'm to the point where I need to put a serious foundation under. I've got four ton of uh, stone uh, tile, a uh, hundred year old French tile to put in there. And I've got three tons worth of drywall to drop in, uh, plus sinks and bathtubs and whatnot. It'll get too heavy for me to want to move around it, right? And uh, But to do that, I would like to have a drone on the follow me mode. Go up, follow me while I'm looking around. and making sure that I understand the soil and, uh, you know, how I'm not on the side of a mountain where I have to worry about landslides or anything, but I'm heading towards a wet weather creek, and it would be nice for me to be able to go up and see where areas are green because I'm in a drought so that I know, hey, that's where the water is, right? And maybe I don't want a septic there. Or maybe I want a well there. So I do want to, I want a drone for that. So Today's little things are a little un delayed unpacking, for lack of better words. And uh, I am not a professional unboxer. I don't do this as a YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, So I bought this Cinemaster 2. Based on it being uh, quote-unquote U.S.-based, I don't know if the drones are or not. Listen, the, uh, the ratings on it are top-notch. But I got it for the various follow-me modes and um, the... Um, camera resolution was super high 
And uh, you cannot argue having owned three three other drones. This drone, um, the way it, it detents and unboxes, I mean, if this thing just flies in my neck of the woods, and this will be its maiden voyage, <laughs> I haven't even downloaded the app. Uh, you're sitting in a box. But the fire, uh, going back to all big circle, right? I made a big circle. The fire that started here last week, uh, I could have used my drone to fly over that and at least got an idea of direction, size. It might have been useful even in that particular moment until um, the helicopter arrived, right? And then I would have been a nuisance. So, uh, But all, all in all, it would have been nice for me to make a couple of passes while the boots were on the ground. And uh, so I would have had that information. It would have been reassuring to my neighbors. I didn't know. I've been in a couple of wildfires here in Bastrop. And, you know, the clouds, they blew, they pillar over you and they look like they're, you know, two feet from you. And, and then they're, you know, four miles or one mile. I had no sense of scope other than when it started, the smoke started billowing over my tree line. Then I knew things were for real. Uh, very close. So anyway, um, look at that, how it detents and just sets up. You know, the release of the gimbal, I've heard people crab about that. There's a little piece of, uh, there we go, there's the gimbal. So, uh, you know, and a gimbal cover I'll put back on. Uh, I'll get rid of that tape. So uh, super high. Let's take a look here, some of the buy-in reasons. So um, love the camera, love the price. It was inexpensive, uh, 4K. Hawaii, you know, everything that I see, uh, but for me, um, the sensors were huge, the build craft was amazing, um, uh, the, uh, everything about it, it, you just set it up and it um, um, works. Also, I did the, uh, for the air, um, wind, it's a level 5 wind, um, and I've had a few drones that out here could not fly into the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and I could, of course, you can't, you know, I can't have follow me on if the poor little light drone get, hey, and it just, oh, every, full blast, and it can't go anywhere. This is a heavier drone. Uh, so the, it has these modes, and these were all important to me. It has a follow me mode, so I could be on a tractor, for example. Um, a circle me mode, so I could be working, uh, you know, on the uh, adobe, the house, the foundation. I could have it circling. Uh, and a route fly, so I could even go around the perimeter of my property from time to time. And I want to look for the green zones, right? Because that's maybe where I want to put a swale in or a stock pond or things like that. Um, it did it come level 5 wind resistance. That was a big selling point. No internet needed. Big selling point. I'm way off grid, uh, you know. Uh, it will um, never lose a drone again. Well, I'm not a professional drone pilot. Uh, I want it to come back home when I when I mess up, <laughs> or when I actually when I'm working on a house and I've run out of time and the, the drones beep 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 and you know ah you know I just want the thing to go and find a landing pad somewhere out here. Leah brought me bought me an H helicopter pad and uh, of course by the time I need it it won't work but uh, you know we'll we'll see on all of that. So, uh, and then lastly, look, it has a little night mode. So it has a little downward spotlight. And I, I'm sure this is Photoshopped a little bit, right? But uh, adjustable downward spotlight and co colored arm light. So it lets you know where it's at. And, you know, you can fly over and do do some work. But anyway, uh, it is a Cinemaster 2 that I bought. So, uh, you know, a Sony sensor, 27 mile an hour wind, 28 minute flight time. The case came with two batteries. Look at this little case. I mean, it's top notch. A lot of other ones you would be buying that all by yourself. I'll put the link down. I'm not, um, you know, affiliated. I'm not getting paid, but uh, I'll put the link in the drop down. If you're looking for a, a drone and this thing works out and gets me good, good shots today, uh, we'll both be happy with that. So I'm charging one battery. I got it in there charging up and uh, it came with uh, the you know the controller i could have bought it with a second battery i did not uh but it come with a second battery so the uh these are the little arms that hold the um a cell phone and um uh anyway I, i'm really really looking forward to this uh doing this and i've i've had several drones as i've mentioned so uh let me see if i ordered a uh and put in a little uh, sd card on it 
if there's an SD card in there yet. Oh, that's not that's not the SD card. I removed something. Hold on while I put on my glasses. Mayday, 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 mayday. Need my glasses. Look at these. Another thing, that cool thing that I found at uh, a thrift store, right? Look how they fold up. Like, I feel so Santa Clausy putting these on. And uh, how come all the cool stuff's old? How come they built cool stuff back at, ah, you know? Old. Now they just, that would be plastic and throw away. Okay, let me look at what I just peeled off. Because I thought it was for an SD card. I made assumptions. That says, please use a memory card above a class 10. And it was right there. So where does the SD card, it was right, the sticker, I'm going to put the sticker back. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to put the sticker back so I know where that sticker came from. Uh, ask me if I read the directions, everybody. No. I do. I, I get around to reading directions. All right. So looking, scanning my peepers on it, scanning my peepers, scanning my peepers, scanning my peepers. I don't see where the SD card goes. Maybe right there. Well, I'll get the uh, thing out. Maybe my version's right there. I saw some of them have them here. So it probably depends on your model. Oh, look, there's the, uh, that looks like that's where the light uh, is for the downward spotlight. Oh, that's cool. All right. Digging all that. So now I'm going to download the app. It says 80 decibels. So that's a good thing right there. It tells me how many dB. This, this kind of looks like it should, oh, it's going to be a blinky light. I, I'm going to guess that's where the SD card goes. We'll find out. Did I buy an SD card in here? No, I'll have to steal the one out of that camera. In fact, I've got SD cards here. I'll look in my camera case. Uh, I'll run to town later tonight. 60 miles away or whatever I am. All right. So I failed a little bit. Look at the legs. The legs flip down. Ah, wow. Really like this design. All right, look, I found an SD card in one of my old cameras. I dropped off a ladder, so ta-da! Set minimum class ten. Well, we'll look in that and see how old that is. It says it's a 128 Extreme. Well, it sounds like it'd be a minimum class ten, doesn't it? Should I just guess that it goes in this little spot? Or should I look it up inside the instructions? Uh-uh-uh, oh, oh, oh. wait, 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 wait. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, ah, well, the label wasn't too far away, was it? I see, see, right on, it is underneath the wing, just like they said. All right. There we go, clicky. All right, check. I'm gonna, gonna remove that sticker. One thing done. All right, let's move the case. All right, it's. I'm gonna call that a full battery. Looky there, full battery. Looks like this pulls off. If only they would they would put instructions, write things down where you could read things and not have to guess. Listen, if I put this thing together, having not read a darn thing, you know that it's pretty easy to build. Alrighty. What's next, do you think? Let's put some batteries in here if I don't have any. Oh, that's to hold my cell phone. We can do that. Cinemaster 2 app. Exos, the name of the company. Let's see if we can find that app. Oh, don't watch my pen, everybody. Oh my gosh, no. 
Alright, was that off camera? I don't know if that was off camera. Alright. An app store here in Play's Gone. Exo Cinemaster. Up Sibyls. Hmm. Well, that looks like it, doesn't it? Sixteen thousand down plus downloads install. Uh, now, now look at Google trying to sell me. Let's see if I've got time to play games. Now, if Google Play would send an AI bot to build a house, pack earth bags, that would be handy. You listening? I know you are. I know you are Google. It's a, go a Google build an AI bot that can do Hyper Adobe, helping everybody out. Open, it says. Fly, Cinemaster 2. Well, let's take a look here. Let's see, am I going to get hit by any of these props? Who would, who would, who would launch a, a drone in their own house? That seems like a silly thing. There's a button right there. Up, oh, look, like a button to hold it on. Whoa! Yeah! All right. Enter drone, it says. Device connection tutorial. Power on the drone. Check. Power on and connect the controller. Huh? Hold on. Oh, there's some Duracells in there. They've been sitting there for a year. Let's do a Duracell commercial at the same time. Power on. All right. Beep, beep. Well, now what? This has a little unlocky. I'm convinced if I hit that, I'll unlock these props and then it'll start buzzing. Let's find out right here in my own home. GPS on, but it, it has not found any GPS. That's why it's blinking. It hasn't found any GPS. They don't like it when they don't find GPS. In fact, sometimes they won't even uh, launch. But let me see. I'm going to unlock it even without GPS. All right, there's an H. Oh, it's it's talking. It seems like foolishness to me. Oh, okay. Power on and connect the controller. Go to the Wi-Fi of your connect thing. All right, and connect to Drone 4G. All right. Let's do that. Let's do that. My Starlink. Add a network. Oh, uh, there it is, everybody. Checking the quality. Not secure. Well, I would not expect it to be. Let's move it a little way away from my very expensive monitor. The <laughs> internet may not be... Oh. Always connect. If I've got the drone on, it can connect. Connected without the internet, not secured. All right, back to the uh, instructions. Open this app and press enter drone. All right. To act, uh, yeah, let's do precise even. What I'm waiting for, rather than launch this thing and cut my throat with the, uh, which would be all right. It would be all right. It would end my pain out here. Uh, which uh, would, uh, you know, with the props, so precise. While using the app, boom. What I want to see is the camera turn on. The gimbal's blinking, too. There's a little light there. So I see the gimbal's blinking, the drone's, the drone's unhappy with me, people. No signal. Illustration for phone holder. I doubt, indeed, that I have to have the phone in the phone holder. I, I am 100% sure that this is not necessary, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Whoop. I bet you these antennas aren't antennas, too. All right. Boop. All right, so that's connected. There's a little up arrow there. Oh, wait. Something's going on. Geomagnetic calibration. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. It still doesn't have any. Uh, oh, it wants me to calibrate it. Uh huh. Google. What do you think, Internet? Should I go outside now? <laughs> Let's do that. <gasps> All right. So we're outside. Forgive the noise. My car will be on. Every, it's just going to be noisy. There's my drone back there. So it's still saying no GPS on the remote. So if I'm reading that right, right there. So let me hit unlock. All right. And then uh, camera. Oh, there's a camera mode. Let me go into the thing. Oh, that's definitely, it's got the camera, doesn't it? You see that? So, uh, let me look here. That looks like lift off right there. Let's do that. The drone cannot take off unless it's in idle mode. Well, it's, it's talking at least. Hey. Humpton beep. Oh, it still says not connected. Listen, I am so, so darn tired of drones. This is why I didn't even want to mess with it. It's 0% fun. I, I, I'm sorry. For somebody, if you don't love technology, it just, the drone needs to come out of the box, auto calibrate, and fly. If I, I could get that message to the drone people out there, that would be greatly appreciated. And I've owned several of these, and I've done the whole calibration a hundred times, and I've watched a thousand times why the phones don't connect, and, you know, it, it's just uh, boring. Just work. That's all I want you to do. Just work. Checking quality. Not secure. Not secure. Connected. All right. I've told it a hundred times, always connect, but it's it's not going to, every time I'm going to have to connect and and do this step that I don't want to do, but okay. Now I see it's connected there, so now when I go to the app, the app should see it, and it should say connected. Geomagnetic calibration, all right, so that's wonderful good. So let's do all that again. Place the drone horizontally, rotate it, about three circles. All right. Place the drone heads up and rotate it three circles. I'm getting the image at least. It doesn't help that it's eight thousand degrees out here. All right, are you gonna fly for me this time? I am I am tired. Sick and tired. Look, 13 satellites, 14 satellites now. See right there? That was my whole position. It, it wasn't gonna fly without satellites. All right, unless it's in idle mode. So let's put it in idle mode. I'm convinced that that's how to do it. All right. But I didn't see it go. I'm going to press every, mash every button until it unlocks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I unlocked it. Every button until it unlocks. All right. Now I'm convinced that if I press this button, it'll auto launch for me. Oh, oh. How cute. All right, let's do that again. Probably both at the same time. Yeah? This one? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. All right, let me go read a direction because, you know, rules. All right. Well, there's the unpress, tap that, and then go to the left joystick. All right, well, we could do that. Tap, left joystick. 
Oh, I did it. Apparently, you got to get it off the ground yourself, huh? Okay. Now, this is a pretty windy day. Y'all seeing that? Uh, I don't know what the wind is, but uh, I'll look later. I'm gonna stick it above the above the tree lines, and then I'll put this in there. Let's see if it gives me modes right here. What's this button do? The drone will return. Well, I don't want that. The drone will return. I don't want that. There's a dashboard right there. All right, so follow me, maybe, huh? Got to read that itty bitty thing. There's a slider. Once enter, follow me. The drone's camera lens will keep pointing at the mobile phone. And away. all right, so there we go. It should know where my mobile phone is. It's looking. Well, uh, it's trying to follow me. So it's following the cell phone. That's pretty darn good, actually. So if I put this in my pocket and it's not a million degrees. So I don't know, I don't know what the gimbal is, how to, how to change the gimbals. That looks like it's a zoom. This gimbals for the camera might be right here. So let me, uh, let me stick that in there. All right. So y'all seeing that? Am I getting that in the frame? I don't know. So there's a, a little roundy body. Doesn't really seem to be very hard, very stiff, whatever that button is. All right, well, it doesn't hold my camera very well, I'll tell you that. There's lights and... Old Hank doesn't like it. <laughs> He's out of here. Oh, I did have the right buttons, just on the wrong side. All right. Well, there's my thing. Hank did not like the sound of that. All right. I, I'm going to uh, run it out there and run it back. The cell phone, I, ha I haven't hit record yet. Let's record. Uh, video right there, maybe. Allow. All right, so it's recording my poor property. I'm gonna fly over my house, fly around. It is windy today, but that drone is just staying rock solid. So there we go, we're recording, I'm piloting. Let's pilot and record. I'm up higher than the trees. Oh, I don't know if follow me mode's still on. Let me see if follow me mode's still on. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. So I'm going to hit pause on this and walk around, see if it will follow me. All right. That was my maiden flight. Uh, listen, I'm the one that changed it from, uh, from home because it was coming down in the trees a little bit. Uh, all right, I did crap a little bit, didn't I? But it's, it cut me some slack. It's the heat. 
It's making me insane. Uh, that was all without any training. So I did need to get the book. <laughs> how to un unlock the... They're all similar. Some of them you tap both buttons at the same time. This one had it unlocked, but you had to unlock and use the left arrow at the same time. Uh, you know, I'm sure, sure that's something that the federal government has required they do so kids don't lose an eyeball. Uh, it did find a, enough of the satellites eventually. 14. I hit record video i don't have any idea where the video is listen my phone is way overheated so uh i don't see any videos here on my phone itself so i gotta believe that they're on the chip let's go in and check them on the computer and see what we think uh together on the computer if it did save i gotta turn this thing off it is piping hot all right and that off We're back inside that was a rousing success I, I I'm gonna admit so you press and hold a lot of these you have to hold and really uh, really make sure that they understand you definitely mean it's time to time to go to bed and it is wicked hot out there all right let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at this SD card and see what if anything's on it? Are you getting that? Oh no, you're not getting that. I don't know. I, I'll I'll end up putting splicing that in so we can all watch it together. There I. So while I was hitting follow me mode, uh, it's super bright. It's awfully hot. I accidentally kept touching my camera uh, or my cell phone. As soon as I touched my cell phone, it would turn off the follow me mode, and then it would try to go home. So that's uh, what some of that's about. Uh, so that's no problem with the equipment, except um, I need to need to figure out how to make this grab my camera in such a way that uh, it will stay there. And I'm not sure what that. Oh, it tilts. So maybe that's my problem. And then my power button, of course, is always right in the way of everything. So, but no, look, it's still, uh, it's still not grabbing in there. These antenna are in the way. Let me see if I can rotate these somewhere. No, no. I don't think I can. Oh, I can rotate them that way. All right, let's keep going here. Well, that's gonna work better. So if I get into the, uh, you know, nobody ever contacts me or anything until, <laughs> until. All right. Well, there we go. Not connected, which is true. It isn't connected. Uh, figured out. I'm gonna put the antennas down like that on the back, and that opens up because my power button's right there. And the problem is the. Uh, with all of these, not just this, but anything like uh, Gorilla Grip or anything, 
keeps trying to press the power button. So if you're watching that, uh, who have uh, Motorola, put your power button where people won't be touching it all the time. Not right there in the middle of the thing. Over there, right? All the time touching there. All right, I liked all of that. I like this video. It's uh, following me there. It's following me, right? I'll put this at the end of this when I mix it up. Look how brown my poor, poor farm is. You know, it's not as... And then see, you can actually see the gophers, how they dig their holes. <laughs> my turn around. But uh, here I had touched the button on the camera and it stopped following me. So it stopped following me there. All right. Well, uh, let me keep rehearsing this thing and I'll add it in. Um, onto uh, some of the videos that I'm going to be doing. I, I have to plow a fire break. I'll do the follow me with the fire break on a tractor. Um, you know, I'll do a couple of videos on that. So, pretty happy. Let's see how the landing went. That's also with follow me on. So these dead trees like that one, it's not dead at the bottom, but I need to cut those out. Either drought or beetle got them. That's an old mesquite. Oh, look, you can see my moon garden and my, uh, the, I've got a crescent moon and a full moon. Not half bad. Not half bad for a first step. So now I'm telling it to come home. So it's probably going to turn off the camera. Yeah, it did. All right, wonderful, good. That, that worked out. All right, well, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. I'm, it's the middle of the day. It's too hot to work in. 106, it says, uh, in my uh, weather, uh, accurate weather gauge. 106. Let me say, see. The wind is uh, 13 is peak. Uh, 1.3 is average. So the drone did pretty good for considering there's peak winds of 13 out there. It is a little bit of a heavier drone, so I dig that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to give at this moment... Uh, listen, I didn't read my instructions. I got a little frustrated with the unlocky part. But other than that, I did this entire drone setup without uh, reading anything. I watched some videos about uh, other people unboxing and unpacking. and uh, But none of them covered like the details that I, I needed, like how to unlock the rotor and, uh, you know, how best to stick your phone in there. Some of the things that I just covered. So uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. I'm not an electronics unboxing guy. I'm a rancher out here building an off-grid uh, uh, or Adobe Earth bag around uh, two shipping containers. You saw the shipping containers inside. There's one that's almost done with an ensuite. Uh, but I want the drone for uh, the fire to monitor my fence lines, to watch me while I build, to fly over my roofs, just to do a lot of things. So this will be fun. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.